Hey guys, so this is a 3D printed model of an actual Bronze Age artifact. And this is the solid bronze sword I cast using my 3D printed pattern. Let me show you how I did it. The model I used to print this out is a scan of an actual late Bronze Age artifact found in Ireland. This sword is about 27 inches long, so I had to print the pattern in three sections, which took about 25 hours. All three sections turned out very nice, but they still needed a lot of sanding to remove the lines made by the printer. I sanded each piece individually and then glued them together with super glue. I was concerned that the glue joint wouldn't be very strong, however it turned out to be extremely strong. I used some Bondo to cover up the glue joints and then filed and sanded them smooth. Then I sprayed the pattern with primer several times, sanding it smooth after each coat. Now that I have my pattern made, the next step is to make a sand mold. This top piece is called the cope, and the bottom piece is called the drag. First, I fill the drag with sand and lightly pack it down. Then, attach a board to the bottom and flip it over. Next, I apply some baby powder to act as a release agent, preventing the two halves of the mold from sticking together. Then I press the pattern into the lightly compacted sand. After that, I place the cope on top, fill it with sand, and pack it down much harder this time. Then, I take the cope off and remove the sand from the drag. Then I flip the cope over, put the drag back on, and fill it with sand, but this time, pack it down much harder. At this point, all I have to do is add a sprue, which is a hole I'll pour the molten metal into, and a vent, which will allow for displacement and venting of hot gases. So now I'm going to fire up the furnace, which is uh, probably about the best part of this whole process. So as I said, this sword is going to be cast out of bronze, and bronze is made up of copper and tin. Copper has a melting point of 1984 degrees Fahrenheit. Tin has a melting point of about 450 degrees Fahrenheit. So in order to mix the two together, copper has to be melted first, and then I'll add the tin in second. Once that's done, I'll mix it up a little bit, pour it into the mold. No matter how many times I cast something, opening up the mold is always exciting. Fortunately, this sword turned out perfect, and all I have to do now is cut off the excess metal and clean it up. I want this sword to look like it did when it was pulled from the ground, with the exception of being polished slightly. In a future video, I'll make another sword with the same pattern, but instead of leaving it in the condition it was found in, I'll clean it up, sharpen the edge, and attach a handle. So after grinding off the excess bronze, I filed down some of the rough edges, and now it's time to just polish it up. I really like how this turned out. I love how it started out as a file on my computer and now it's a solid bronze sword. This is definitely one of my best castings yet. 
If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for future projects. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.